Yeah, hello everybody. <coughs> yeah, I some fix computer solutions for you once again. I do a little bit of adjustment for this camera. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I have a motherboard today. You can see this is a motherboard for which model of a laptop? This is an 840, 840 G3, yeah? And uh, these motherboards and these kind of laptops, uh, they are too, there are too many in my country. This is a country where we have, where we believe in HP. And HP is found to be the best laptop. Each and every time customer comes to my shop to ask for a laptop, they come for HP. So this one, eh, I insert in the charger. You check on my power supply, you see that it's drawing enough amperage to power this motherboard on and maybe to... So you can see that is a 0 0.4 amps. Eh? Uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is not is not yet five. Uh -huh. So the fan is going to spin as you can see. So the fan is spinning, eh? And we are not having a display. So to <clears throat> if somebody brought this laptop to me and this is how it's behaving the first thing i would go and suspect is the maybe it's the bios so maybe the <coughs> the flashing out of the of the bios chip and maybe writing a new firmware and the video i made last eh, it was about uh, the same the same model of a hp the 840 g3 and that one was how uh, that one was a uh, was having a freezing screen but we are going to check about that so what i want to put across here is not always it's not always that you'll find a machine like this one eh? it's having all the voltages actually the fan is spinning that you you would go straight and dig this the bios this is a bios problem or maybe a, a programming of the firmware to have the display come back some are voltages issues and some are chip issues and some are hardware issues on the motherboard and maybe the like the chips so there are some instances actually there's a video i've just made eh? please if you have time go back to my youtube channel and check the video i'm going to upload like uh, in two hours from now is about the bios a machine that is uh, that is dead but after writing the bios after the programming the bios chip the machine is back to life eh? but look at this one this one is even have, having a fan spin and everything but this display is not going to come on so somebody would just go I, I, before I knew that it's not always like uh, the BIOS is the problem for this fault, I would have gone directly to, to programming the BIOS. And sometimes, before you waste a lot of time, before you waste a lot of your time, if you only knew that this is not the BIOS issue, you would have saved a lot of time. Before wasting the time and knowing this is not a BIOS issue, issue you could have saved the time. And so, if I come here with my thermocam, eh? I want you to look at a certain place here. Look at this chip here. See? I hope you can see. Look at this chip here. You see, that chip is getting mad hot. Eh? Mad hot. I hope you have seen that. Eh? So, actually, this is a chip preventing this motherboard from turning on. And because what voltages are lacking in this one, these voltages are, are coming from the processor. The voltages that are preventing the display to come because all the voltages are there but you're not having a display because these voltages from the processor are not being delivered because the this coil is not providing enough power to to give us okay so maybe to explain this eh, i'll put aside this motherboard and bring on the the other laptop i was talking about eh? you see the chip we saw that was heating eh? so you remember this laptop who remembers this laptop who remembers this laptop here i insert in the charger let's see the voltages on the the amperage on the power supply <clears throat> and i had done a video of this laptop and that video is my in is in my youtube channel so whoever want to see you see the hp logo is on yeah i hope it's going to go to the next stage Okay, can, okay, do I have to get a keyboard to make this work? Maybe I'll have to do so if that is what is called for. 
because we don't have a lot of time i have other gadgets i need to work on so i've put an external adungo keyboard from my you see so i have pressed enter so that it can go to the next stage yeah so the amperage is 0 0.567 now the display is coming you see the hp logo and what is it, what else is going to come here let's see yeah it's looking for there now it wants to load the ssd the operating system in the ssd and see what is going something is going to freeze here preparing an automatic repair see frozen three dots and it's frozen that laptop is not going to come out of that place eh? it's frozen and there's nothing else that can happen so if you remember i made this video this video is in my youtube channel and let me put this laptop this way maybe so that we can all we can all see what i'm saying eh? you see the motherboards are now looking facing the the identical look in the same direction eh? and i want to come with my thermal camera again eh? let's see see which is this chip you see this chip here see the same chip you see the same chip with this one the same the same chip is heating <laughs> you see what's the difference eh? the difference is that this one is trying to attempt to boot to, to, to make a boot up and give us a screen but after the loading of the os in the ssd is, is freezing but this one will not going to give us any display you realize these both chips are are heating very high temperature eh? and guess what this one we saw the shot was coming from the processor one side of the processor and guess what it is the same with this one so now are you going to work on this motherboard and tell me that you can work on this one and give us a display i'm i'm making this video maybe to show you that if only you knew some faults before you even go ahead to program the bios or even to flash up the chip you'd have saved a lot of time now suppose if this motherboard came to me and i just went ahead to program the bios because i can get all the voltages and everything i would have wasted how many almost an hour or 30 minutes of my time but now because of experience because of experience and maybe having to deal with a lot of these machines eh? i've known this is a problem so the other the reason why i'm making this video i keep people asking me in my comments or in my whatsapp how did you get to learn about the machine how did you get to learn about this it's something called experience eh? so there's something in this world that if you only knew about it maybe that would make it a bit easier for you you know you want to become a laptop technician and a good one in this case maybe even better than me but the the thing i keep uh, sometimes i get a question from a customer hey i want to become like you what can i do actually one of the customer is texting me like for that time i think he's from he's from uk united kingdom and i say hey i've been wishing and i asked him have you bought a multimeter no have you bought anything he has nothing so this is what i'm saying you keep talking about you wanting to become a technician and you're doing nothing about it it's never gonna happen even me don't think I've, i was born this way i've gone i've dealt with a lot of issues every time you expose yourself to a problem the more wiser you become and actually we, we, there's a saying in my country that that problem is the best teacher you know why we say that that saying in my country is it actually is my tribe the kikuyu tribe the problem is the best teacher because when you are faced with a problem and you're able to solve that problem, you live that out of that scenario wise, wiser than you were before. So if you want to become a technician, start doing something. Start with what you have around there as you, are, as you work for, for what you don't have. People who saw my previous YouTube channel, even you can go to my previous videos. Eh? I didn't even have a camera. I used to shoot with a phone. I came, bought a camera. I used to keep promise my viewers I would buy a camera. I, would buy a, I bought a camera. I came, I bought a microscope, I bought a power supply. So it's the, it's the willingness and the thing, that thing, the action. Action is what that is, is going to make things move. Eh? So actually, you want to, some things are very simple. Start going. Start with what you have. Just start where you are. Don't wait to be like me, that you have pass uh, everything. No, you can't wait to be like me. Start with what you have and see. Because of me having to deal with a, a similar problem before, I didn't even waste time with this motherboard. I did even waste time with this mother. Now somebody will say, wow, that was hey, that was so professional. You are so experienced. Yeah, it's true. It's because I have dealt with that problem, with such a problem before. So, please, start moving from now. Start moving. Start doing something. Start buying a multimeter. Eh? 
Somebody calls me, hey, my laptop is behaving like this. It's not powering on. I can see. Do you have a multimeter? No. How can I help you without a multimeter? Maybe I want to tell you, go to your charger and see whether your charger is putting is, 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 is putting out some voltage. You don't have a multimeter. You don't have. You got nothing. How am I going to help you? So stop asking whether I, hey, you are the, I start here. And actually, I'm not yet there. Don't think that I know a lot of things. I don't know a lot of things. I'm still working on myself. I'm still climbing on the ladder slowly by slowly. So I'm also working hard to even get more experience and more knowledge. So guys, so that's it for today. Uh, for those who don't know this video, maybe I'll go and try to show you where I go follow that video. Let me try to show you where that video was. For those one who don't know which, who, which video I'm talking about, this is the video here. Windows 10 freezing randomly issue can also be a motherboard issue. If you follow this video, you'll find that uh, the, how I di diagnosed that problem and arriving to, to this place here. So that is that is it for today, guys. I have a customer already. And so keep liking, sharing, and subscribing as I talk to the customer here. Bye.